for what we do, we're like 80 year olds. Oh shit! Uh oh. Oh my god. If 30 year old is like prime time, like in the 40s is like your grandpa in the sport now. And that's where we're at. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm too old for that shit. Stoked grandpas. Really fired up grandpas that are still loving it. <laughs> yes. Let's see if we still got it. Yeah. You know, being being older in this sport, just you know, especially with big big lines, it's like you're wiser. You know, and kids these days, the younger generation, they're blowing my mind. But you get into the upper scale lines, and even those guys aren't thinking about tricks. It's all survival skiing, and that really levels the playing field for me. Skiing big lines is an emotional roller coaster for sure. I mean, there's all the anticipation and stress of like, are we going to get the opportunity? Is mother nature going to allow us to ski it? And then when she does, all of a sudden it's just like crazy, like amounts of fear and anxiety going into it. Um, but also excitement, you know, and, and you're like stoked. Like, this is what I want, but I'm absolutely petrified of it. Mac, you're good? Yeah. Mac is a hundred. Dropping in ten. Mac in ten. That that was the goal coming here is to just be able to get onto that bigger terrain and sh and show that even though I'm uh, an old crusty free skier, I've still got it. And uh, ultimately, I think we showed that. Huge plumes of slough, like smashing rocks beside you and like you know dust clouds hitting you in the face and you're just trying to still focus on like where's my next turn and avoid those rocks and avoid that and like get off this cliff and get the heck out of here you know it's like there's all these things going on and then when you come out the bottom it's this release of everything all the anticipation all the fear all the anxiety and having it all come together it's just like this crazy release of emotions, but also just pure joy and happiness.